hey guys welcome back to my channel um if you're new to this channel i am consumer debt free i am um currently working on my school loans specifically my heartland loan and i'm trying to save as much money as i can um so this video is going to be an in-depth video of my Nelnet loan because since it is a federal loan, I it's no lo longer getting charged interest. So I thought it would be interesting to see how. So um, I thought it would be interesting to see how the money gets distributed, if that makes sense. So for the month of April, for example, let's just start the video because maybe I'm not making clear sense of it. For the month of April, I'm gonna put April 2020. Um, I did pay to my regular Nelnet loan. I don't know if you guys like it when I do it that way. Oh, when I write. Okay, so for my regular Nelnet, I gave it, I paid 200. And then for my group B, I gave it 365 so in total for this loan I paid 565 um, all right so bef all right so before that um, in the beginning of the month or you can say yeah in the beginning of the month when all the interest when the month of March finished, I checked April 1st um, to see what my totals were. And I want to tell you what I got for each one, if that makes sense. So, for example, in the month of, I'm going to say, let's say March 30th. Should I say March 30th? I'm going to say just March March 30th let's just say that March 30th for um group A I'm gonna say group A the bill the total amount was 3,700 it's like 3,200 um, let's get my white out 3,200 and 72 and 39 cents um group b i want to i'm just gonna put it in total so group b was get my calculator group b was 2258.73 plus 2047.75 point seventy two it was four thousand three hundred and six and forty five cents then we have group C which was C four one six five point twenty eight plus five one seven seven point fifty eight which was nine thousand Three hundred and forty-two and eighty-six. Group D was um, only one loan, so that's one thousand nine hundred and fifty-two and ninety cents. And then Group E was five thousand two hundred and eleven point ninety-eight. And then group F has 2,121.12. All right. So within these groups, there's different loans. So for example, loan B has two different loans, but I added them together and that gave me 4,306. Um, like you can see if you haven't seen my total debt plan, like group B has two loans underneath it, group um c also has two loans but for this for this purpose i'm just gonna do the groups total all right so now it's march 30th now we are in um april 17th where um my my loan is due on the 15th so i just checked online and it has been um 
processed the amounts have gone down so I want to see how much it decreased so for the month of April I paid 565 towards my loan but like I said in March they also charged me interest but I saw a couple comments saying that they weren't supposed to charge you interest but who knows so I wanted to see if maybe how this money got distributed if that makes sense so I'm gonna tell you for April and I checked this today which was April 19th how much it is so group A and I have the sheet next to me so I'm like literally doing this on camera with you and discovering it together what um how my loan got my loan payment got distributed so for group a it is now 300 and 300 3 and 18 cents so what a couple cents it decreased shaking my head let me see group b is now one nine nine six point zero eight which is actually i can show you because i have it here it's the same numbers as this so one nine nine zero eight one nine nine six point zero eight plus one eight zero nine point sixty two so now it's three thousand eight hundred and five and seventy cents uh, group C is now 4164.11 plus 5176.13. It's <laughs> wow, that is crazy. It definitely did not decrease at all. For the all right, so nine three four zero point twenty four um group d is now let's see group d is just one which is now one eight eight five point zero two group e is now five two one ten and 32 cents and group F is now 2120.44 Wow so some of these only decreased by like a dollar or some cents so let's just figure out how much it actually decreased by so 3272.39 cents minus 3271 Point eighteen. That only made a pay. Yo, let's. You know what? Let's do a payment. Where's my red at? Because we're about to find out today. Um, it minus a dollar twenty one for my group first group. Let's see four three zero six point forty five minus three eight zero five point seventy. That minus five hundred wait what that's crazy 575 cents group c 9342.86 minus 9340.24 two dollars minus two dollars and 62 cents let's see 1952.90 minus 1885.02 okay this one's decent minus 67 dollars and 88 cents oh now we're going more than 565 all right um five let's did i make a mistake 1952.90 minus 1885.02 okay um five thousand two hundred eleven point ninety eight minus five two one zero point thirty two a minus a dollar and sixty six cents two one two one point twelve 
minus 2120.44 <laughs> minus 0 0.68 cents. So that's how much each group decreased by with my um, payment of 565. Um, that is crazy. So let's have, see how much it decreased in total. 1.21 plus 500.75 plus 2.62 plus 67.88 plus 1.66 plus 0.68 cents. $574.80. So it decreased by a total of $574.80. I don't know what's the math behind this because I only paid $565 for my payment, but apparently it decreased $574.80. Um so yeah that's interesting to see um, i'm gonna put able no interest the only thing i can think of is that because they charged me interest in march maybe they're giving that back to me whatever they took away from my payment from for interest and they're giving it back to me now in april who knows but this these are the numbers um Group B took the most out of my payment, and then also Group D took a lot of the payment. And then these others, like Group F, Group E, Group C, Group A, only decreased by like a dollar. That's crazy. All right, guys. Well, this is it for this video. I'm definitely going to be doing this every month to see how much my groups decrease by to see where um where my my payment goes. Um I know for a fact that group B should have taken a chunk because I paid group B on the online. I gave 365 directly to group B. I guess it gave the other 202 to group B. I don't know. But yes, this was my, basically how did my payments get distributed to my loans video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you know more about this, because I love, there's one um, viewer in particular who like I ask questions and they answer me because they were um, school loan like they dealt with the loans in college so definitely like if you have information as to what is the craziness with these numbers um let me know i am into like digging deeper into my loans right now um just because that motivates me to like keep going but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe we are at 520 subscribers now. I cannot believe I passed 500. But yes, thank you so much for those of you who are subscribed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.